Hi there, this is Pinal Dave, and I welcome all of you to this new episode of SQL in the 60 seconds. While I write about SQL Server and also create a lot of video on SQL Server, but today we are going to see how we can quickly and efficiently install MongoDB Server in our local Windows box. Let's learn how we can do that. First thing first, we will go to MongoDB's website. Over here, click on Community Server and it will bring you to this screen. It will give you three options. Select On-Premises and it will automatically detect the version of the Windows which you are running. Next, click on Download and it will start downloading MongoDB Community Server. You can fill up the form if you want, but you can just skip it and wait for the download to complete. Once the download is completed, you just have to click on the file and it will open the installer. Here is the installer. Click next over here, accept the terms and click next one more time. Over here, select the complete as an option. Leave everything as it is and click next. Over here, either you can choose to install MongoDB Compass or you can just skip it. We will skip it for this demonstration and now we will click on next. Right now, it is installing MongoDB server on our local box. Well, that's it. It actually took less than 30 seconds to install MongoDB server to our Windows box. Let's go to command prompt and try to connect to MongoDB. You can also directly run MongoDB exe from anywhere from command prompt if you provide correct URL. Next, on the command prompt, you can specify db.getName and it will give you name of your current database. Well, there you go. Now you have successfully installed MongoDB on your Windows box. One final thing before we end this video, it is important that we know one relational database. It is equally important that we know one NoSQL database. I have decided to learn MongoDB. On the description in the blog post, you will see few links where you can go and learn MongoDB very quickly. Thanks for watching the video and please don't forget to like, subscribe and comment to the video.